tweet this. We are here at Jack Dorsey's house. He has banned me from Twitter, and I am not allowed to post in the digital public square, so I have made his house my own social media wall. This is his garage door, you guys. This is his wall preventing people from coming in. All the people who Jack Dorsey has banned. All the people. Just please don't like get in the frame. What are people saying on the live stream? If Dorsey didn't have the wall, you can guarantee that I probably would already be at his front door, just like I did when I went to Casa de Nancy and Casa de Gavin. You know, you guys know I put illegal aliens on Nancy Pelosi's lawn. And even while being banned, even while I was banned, from Twitter, I still managed to trend number one twice, okay? Do you guys think Jack Dorsey is watching this live stream? <laughs> I don't know if he is or not, but we brought him his very own Stop the Bias shirt. And you guys, the reason I'm out here having this peaceful demonstration in front of Jack Dorsey's house, right, is because we need to have a serious conversation about social media bias in this country because there's an issue with financial blacklisting now, conservatives are being censored, their speech is being violated. And we don't stand for that here in America. Twitter is an American company. And here in America, we value the First Amendment. And so, you know, if you think that they're not gonna come for you next, I'm here to tell you as somebody who's probably the most censored woman in America, that they are definitely coming for you next, okay? They talk about the digital public square, but you know, why don't you come and experience a day in my life? It's more like the digital gulag, really. I'm banned everywhere. confronted Jack Dorsey in front of Congress and people mocked me and called me crazy and said I was a conspiracy theorist for saying there was social media bias. Well, stop the bias, guys. This is from when I handcuffed myself. Joe Rogan, Anthony Cumia. Joe Rogan called me crazy too, said I was crazy for handcuffing myself. But then he has Tim Pool on to talk about social media bias. What about me, Joe? What about me? I brought you some presents, Jack Dorsey, all right? First of all, a copy of my lawsuit. I also bought you your very own freeloomer.com t-shirt because you said when you were speaking to Rolling Stone magazine when they asked you, so what do you think about Laura Loomer handcuffing herself to Twitter? You said, well, I respect Laura Loomer because I love protests. It's so punk rock, it's so cool. And uh, you denied censoring uh, conservatives, right? And so I figured that since you're so anti-censorship and that since you really believe that you are telling the truth when you say, when you tell Congress, right, that you're not censoring conservatives, uh, I figured that you wouldn't mind just reiterating that by wearing your very own Stop the Bias shirt, okay? And because I'm so nice and generous, Jack, I'll let you have my hat, okay? Got you your very own Stop the Bias hat. These are available, you guys, at freeloomer.com. You can get your very own Stop the Bias hat and freeloomer.com t-shirts um, at, uh, at my website, freeloomer.com. And look, guys, you, all you have to do is read the complaint. All you have to do is read the complaint and you will see that Twitter has been working with an Islamic terrorist organization uh, to ban me and censor me and silence me. I am probably the most censored woman in America. You know, I'm not just banned. I'm not just banned, you guys, from from Twitter. I have been banned from Uber. I have been banned from Lyft, Uber Eats. I literally cannot even order a sandwich, okay? I have been banned from Venmo, GoFundMe, PayPal, Medium, Teespring, and Twitter. I mean, it's just absolutely egregious, you guys, how many times I've been banned and how I'm banned just all throughout the internet simply because I'm an outspoken Jewish conservative woman. on loop all night get it trending guys get it trending hashtag stop the bias what you're looking at right now guys is a projector live from the home of Jack Dorsey okay this is Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey's house 
These are all the accounts that have been suspended by Jack Dorsey. Laura Loomer, Alex Jones, all right? We're ball banned. Infowars, Infowars. Chuck Johnson, all right? Chuck Johnson. Milo Yiannopoulos, banned permanently. Azalea Banks. Roger Stone. Gavin McGinnis. Tommy Robinson, guys, make sure you show this to all these people who have been silenced, all right? Jacob Wall, Jacob Wall has also been banned. Baked Alaska. Megan Murphy. Sabo. Owen Benjamin. Anthony Cumia. Sargon of Akkad. Banned permanently. Thomas Wichter. Robert Stacy McCain. Isn't it funny, you guys, how Jack Dorsey has a wall, you know? Jack Dorsey likes to amplify conservative speech. Did you know that they were banning people for a while that said hashtag build the wall? Oh, look, guys, the police are here. Hi, officer, how's it going? No, it's not. This is Jack Dorsey's house. He's the CEO of Twitter. Yeah. Sure, it's just light, but we could put this on the public street. Nice to meet you. I'm Laura Loomer. Nice to meet you. Okay, so a couple things here, right? You can't block the sidewalk, right? Or drive we could take it off. We could take it off the sidewalk. Where can we put it instead, since it's public street? Well, you can't put, you can't block the sidewalk, right? Right. Because people got to walk by. Okay. Plus, it can't be in the street. So, it's kind of weird. Yeah. I mean, there's no harm here. I, under I plus, understand plus, the sidewalk. It's kind of late, you know? Right. Well, there's no noise. We could turn the noise off plus, if you'd like. It's the projection. Yeah. A lot of people are going to say they called the head, you Right. Someone called the sin. I just, well, how am I supposed to get my message across? I mean, I, do you know that I've been banned everywhere? I've been banned on Twitter. I've been banned on Uber, Lyft, Uber Eats. Oh, I can't I, even order a sandwich. I have no idea. I've been banned on Venmo, GoFundMe, PayPal. Like, I literally cannot even make a living in America simply because I report the truth. I'm a conservative. I support the police 100%. And conservatives like myself are getting banned and silenced, right? But then they let people from Black Lives Matter post nasty things. You know, on Twitter, did you know that two police officers in New York City once got uh, shot to death in their cars? People shot them in the head so because, because Twitter allowed for hashtag kill the police to trend. How does that make you feel? It's not good, right? I think it's crazy in this country that Jack Dorsey can be working to, you know, endanger good people. He allows for death threats against the president of the United States to go on there. He allows for people to call for the killing of police officers like Antifa. I'm sure you've had your own dealings with Antifa here in San Francisco. So whose house is this owner? Of this Twitter? is Jack Dorsey's house. I have no he's the he's the CEO of Twitter. Okay. Do you have Twitter? I do, yes. Yeah, so this is the guy who owns Twitter. But he's banning everybody. And I brought my lawsuit, right? So Jack Dorsey, this is a copy of my lawsuit because I sued Twitter and I sued CARE last week because my problem right now is my life is actually in danger because Twitter has been working with the Council on American Islamic Relations, which is a designated Islamic terrorist organization. And they asked Twitter to ban me. And so as a, I'm a Jewish conservative journalist and now I can no longer post on social media and get my journalism out to the public, even though I'm doing a lot of work that is uh, counter-terror related, you know, because he's literally working with an Islamic terrorist organization to ban me and because I've been silenced I lit I can't even I can't even you know get my message out there I get death threats from members of terrorist organizations members of Hamas and the Muslim Brotherhood simply because Jack Dorsey has decided to allow them to take meetings with Twitter executives to ban me I mean my life we're it's gonna, it's, we're it's be getting out of here that's you okay to go to anything we could you feel here? No, I mean, okay. I'm, I'm okay right now. I just wanted to let you know this is completely peaceful. You know, like we're just sitting here with a projector and we could turn the sound off. There's not really any sound. But um, in his own words, Jack Dorsey said that, that he respects me and he loves protest. He told the Rolling Stone magazine. And so I'm just hoping that this can raise some awareness about the fact that these social media companies are working with terrorist organizations. 
I mean, you know how much of a threat it is. Just in Los Angeles yesterday, a member of ISIS was planning to blow up the LA freeway. That's the kind of work that I work to expose as a journalist. And I can no longer do my job in America where we have a First Amendment right because you know, tyrants, billionaire tyrants in Silicon Valley have decided to shut down conservatives. It's really tragic, very tragic. Okay. So, I mean, it, what do you need me to do? Like, is this? Can you block in the driveway, right? All right, block so if I just stand right here, is this okay? You just need to get all this stuff off. All right, well, we'll move it. Yeah, we can move this. We can move that, don't worry. Well, so you got to respect all of these neighbors, right? Yeah, no, no yeah, worries. Everyone's trying to sleep. We could put it on the ground. We could project it onto the ground. So We're just live there. streaming. I mean, it's peaceful, so no, I'm willing to, peaceful. yeah, I can move this. That's fine. So we'll move it off the driveway, off Jack Dorsey's driveway. And then what else? This game's blocking the street. Okay, so if I stand you know like right here, is this okay? We're just trying to be respectful of the neighbors around here. No, I understand. You know, it's, you know, it's Tuesday at 10 o'clock at night. Right. Where everyone's trying to sleep. They've got this projection thing going on. I'm saying, hey. It's America to protest, right? Right. Yeah, I mean, it's America. We can protest. Be, uh, yeah. No, I know. I understand. Yeah. I understand. We'll be, we'll be very quiet. Noise. Did they complain? Did the neighbors complain? Someone, yeah, they were called. Okay. The generator, that well, are we, break, are we violating any laws right now? Just both. That's right. All right. So we'll move this right here. We're not going to be out here very much, much we'll, longer. We'll like, we'll be considerate. The generator is pretty loud. Yeah. Well, we need that to project everything. I'm just like, you know. Yeah. It's pretty late at night. Yeah. Very I mean, nice. it's, what time oh, is it? It's 10.04. Yeah. It's a Tuesday. I mean, a lot of this kind of like, you know, Yeah, I know. I, I, I read this, like, I read this downtown, interview. Right? Jack Dorsey said he works on, works from home on Tuesdays, so. Okay. I'm saying. <laughs> he might be in there, you know. You got to think about the other neighbors, right? Yeah. Or, you know, got, people got work tomorrow. Yeah, no, don't worry. We're not going to be out here much longer. It's 10.04. I mean, is there a limit, a limitation on sound? You still want to come out here again. Yeah. For the generator noise. You know, All right. Screen. You get what I'm saying? No, I understand. Okay. Right. I wonder if there's... We won't be out Appreciate here much it, longer. Okay. We'll move everything. Oh, yeah. it was good. Nice meeting you. Thank nice you so much. You. Appreciate it, officer. Let's just move this off his property since, um, since the police, uh, of course, said to move it. We can't block it. Thank you, officers. You guys, freeloomer.com, freeloomer.com. I am suing Twitter. Well, we're not getting arrested. I mean, we're not doing anything illegal, right? And why would I stop my protest? Jack Dorsey said that he loves protest, you guys. Jack Dorsey did an interview with Rolling Stone magazine, and I have copies of it because I purchased a copy of it. And they asked him, you know, while you were vacationing in Myanmar and, you know, going on your little fast and having your little vacation and whatever he was doing, right? Permanently banned. I was permanently banned on Twitter in November, November 21st of 2018 for posting facts about Ilhan Omar. And you want to know why I was banned? I was banned because here, the Council on American Islamic Relations, which is a designated Islamic terrorist organization, lobbied Facebook and Twitter to ban me. So I decided to sue them. All right, here's a copy. I brought it just for Jack Dorsey. And the neighbors are coming out and they're pissed off. Well, if your neighbors are pissed off, then go complain to Jack Dorsey. You know, if you don't want to hear the sound of a generator, then tell Jack Dorsey to stop being, you know, such a tyrant and censoring people, okay? You wouldn't have the sound of a generator outside your fancy multi-million dollar mansion if Jack Dorsey didn't participate and engage in censorship, okay? So that's not my problem. Well, guys, as you just saw, I protested here at Jack Dorsey's house in San Francisco, California, where he lives. Uh, Jack Dorsey told the Rolling Stone magazine that he respects me, right, because I protest. And he said that because he was a punk rocker, he likes protest. And so I just decided to take the protest to Jack Dorsey's uh, door here in California. Uh, and it's interesting, you know, because Jack Dorsey has said that Twitter is a public square. Well, by banning me and many other conservatives from the digital public square, Jack Dorsey is excommunicating uh, many conservatives from participating in discourse and dialogue and communicating with the public. Uh, and so it was very interesting because I live streamed the entire protest from uh, the periscope of a fan page that was created by some of my fans after I was banned from Twitter, the Loomer fan account. And it's funny because you know, the video was starting to go viral and people were watching this live stream, but then it just cut out. 
And not only did Jack Dorsey, who also owns Periscope, uh, ban the Loomer fan account Periscope, but he also suspended the Loomer fan account tonight as well. And you see that even when I protest and do what Jack Dorsey says he admires, they still ban me. So, you know, I'm a generous person. I'm a nice girl. And uh, I decided to bring Jack Dorsey a copy of my lawsuit because, like I said, I'm suing Twitter and I'm suing CARE. And I also decided to bring Jack Dorsey his uh, very own uh, freeloomer.com t-shirt. And that's where you can read the complaint. That's where you can read the complaint uh, of my lawsuit. And you can also get your very own Stop the Bias hat and your Free Loomer t-shirt. So, you know, Jack, don't ever say I never did anything nice for you, okay? freeloomer.com, freeloomer.com, sign the petition to end social media bias, stop the bias, so. All right, Jack, have a good night. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Let's get the hell out of here.